Welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. If you enjoy watching the video, at the end of today's daily news report, may I please request you to subscribe and to click on the bell icon. Also do remember to like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It encourages us to continue to bring you free informative news on a daily basis. I am Elena Sanchez. It is Thursday, September 21. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices dropped on Wednesday owing to a rise in the value of the US dollar. Brent crude prices fell by 0.81 cents settling at $93.53 per barrel, while WTI futures decreased by 0.92 cents settling at $90.28 per barrel. On Wednesday, open spec naphtha prices fell by $11 per metric ton at the $710 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. On Wednesday, bullish buying trends pushed propylene prices higher in Asia. On Wednesday, FOB Korea propylene prices were assessed at the $815 to $825 per metric ton levels, a gain of $10 per metric ton from Tuesday's assessed levels. CFR China propylene prices on Wednesday were assessed at the $855 to $865 per metric ton levels, a rise of $5 per metric ton from Tuesday. On Wednesday, ethylene prices were assessed steady in Asia. On Wednesday, ethylene and propylene prices rose in Europe. On Wednesday, ethylene prices edged lower while propylene prices rolled over in the United States. Back to our news. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On September 21, 2023, LLDPE prices are stable at RMB 83.84 per metric ton. PP prices are higher by RMB 25 per metric ton at RMB 79.97 per metric ton. PVC prices are up by RMB 15 per metric ton at RMB 64.35 per metric ton. MEG prices are higher by RMB 3 per metric ton at RMB 43.90 per metric ton. In plant news, Hebei Highway Group shut its propane dehydrogenation plant on September 17, 2023 for maintenance. Further details on duration of shutdown could not be ascertained. Located in Hebei, China, the plant has propylene production capacity of 500,000 metric ton per year. Our special newsreel today is sponsored by Nayara Energy, an Indo-Russian oil refining and marketing company that owns and operates Vadina refinery located at Vadina, Gujarat, India with a capacity of 20 mmTPA. It owns India's second-largest single-site, state-of-the-art refinery, and one of the most modern and complex refineries in the country having businesses across the hydrocarbon value chain, from refining to retail, and is geared up to drive the vision of delivering crude to chemicals. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me, Elena Sanchez from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.